Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Bon Chasu, and welcome back to Endless Legend Online Playthrough Slash Tutorial. I dearly hope that you are following my Twitter and or have watched my last Stellaris video, because if you don't, then you're probably a little bit confused and possibly even a bit angry or disappointed uh, because of the fact that I have not been posting videos lately. Unfortunately, it's the RG season and I get hit really hard during the RG season, regardless if they take any medicine or not. I mean, if I don't take medicine, it's even worse, but even with medicine, it's not ideal. Right now, I'm in a shape that is decent enough to record actually something, so I'll try to rec I mean, I'll record this video at the very least and then I'll try to record more. And we'll see how it goes, alright? So, if you're wondering why there was no content, that's the reason. I really want to deal with this playthrough because, you know, I want to see if I can do this. And unfortunately, I have already tried recording this particular video twice, actually. And I had to scrap the footage because around 5 or 10 minutes in, I just wasn't able to continue, I was so sick. Now I actually can talk, even my running nose isn't as bad, so... Yeah, so I can do it now, but before it was failed, which is, by the way, why I know a few things about what about what things are going to happen in this video. Not rather video, but yeah, I suppose in this video in the future, because I already know, for example, that this, yes, indeed, is the enemy's capital, like I suspected. I know, for example, that in Uskiv, there is a spy planted by the other majors, and this then he is going to decrease my population. But because I gained this knowledge without actually doing this on camera, I mean, the first time it happened, it surprised me, and I lost the population. So I'm not gonna do a roundup right now, even though I know for a fact that there is a spy in the city, but this would be unfair. I aim to try and make this playthrough as realistic as humanly possible. So I'm not gonna use up use the fact that I have this knowledge about the future for my own advantage, even though I could probably stop this spire from killing my pop. Uh, but yeah, that's not fair. I want this. If I win this game, I want this to be an honest victory. You know. Also, additionally, there are some things that unfortunately will be very difficult for me to ignore as I plan my uh, as I make any plans. So, for example, I know. For example, uh, I repeated example too many times. I'm sorry for that. But I know. What kind of units the Necrofighters are using? I know that they're using Demons and uh, Foragers. Not f are they called? Yes, they're called Foragers. And that's the only thing they're using for the most part. So, I right now, having this knowledge, what I would normally do is I would go into, hold on a second, my military unit design screen, right? And I'll go ahead and change the monks because having the Cavalry Slayer would not be useful. However, having an Infantry Slayer would be very useful against Necrofighters in this scenario because they are using a lot of Infantry and a lot of Flyers. And as for the Orcs, uh, I don't remember if in this save I have... What do they... Oh! Hold on! Hold on! Driver... Alright, sorry about that. The driver crashed. I'm not sure if you were able to hear me back then. Anyway, going back on topic of the unit composition. So my Orcs are already thankfully uh, equip equipped with uh, longbows, which are very strong against flying cells. So I am covered against the Demons. Although, Demons should counter my Orcs also quite well because of the chain landing. So this would be a problem in and of itself. Still, the Orcs, I would suspect, would win in that scenario. Especially since I would have monks defending them. And those monks, if I were to give them infantry Slayer, that would be very, very good against the Necrophages. Unfortunately, I mean, unfortunately, I mean, I could do it right now. Because I know what the enemy composition is. However, like I said, using that knowledge right now prematurely, I feel like it would be not fair. And I know it sounds silly when talking about things not being fair when you fight against AI that is cheating to the maximum, but, you know, at this point in time, when I first tried to record this video, I didn't have this knowledge. So, I will not abuse the fact that I have it now, because, that, like I said, I, that feels dirty. Now, anything else that I have learned off camera, on, or on camera, but the kind of footage that I will not be able to publish, I can't recall anything in particular, actually, no. I mean, I have made some decisions of camera, and I suppose those decisions, those decisions, I made even before my first trial at recording anything, and that decision was to not actually go for things, uh, things, <laughs> people, empires, whatever, such as the other mages. Because previously, be at the end of the last video, I do recall thinking about the possibility of ignoring the necrophages for now and going for the other mages, because. Yeah, they are another target, and I didn't feel like I had what it takes to actually fight the Necrophages. And I didn't actually go to war with them. I mean, I did actually go to war with the Necrophages, but I didn't have any actual fights with them yet. Only one small fight, which is how I know the battle, their army composition, but I didn't truly engage at war with them just yet, if you know what I mean. So, I don't truly know what 
the day how waiting for me, which is good. Thankfully, there's some form of unknown that is still waiting for me. But why do I not want to go for other mages? Well, because I'm really worried, because I did remember the Necrophages are in the final era, which means that they are on their way to actually get into era 6, and Necrophages always draft Serum of Itero. If they get that, I doubt I would actually be able to kill them. And the problem is as well, I don't really have any heroes with the spies in my empire just yet, and I'll need spies to have any chance of fighting against some of the Necrophages. So instead of sniping their capital and the capital of other people, I might actually have to go for a total war instead, and maybe not take over all of the cities, because that would be really a big hassle, and I'm pretty sure that Wild Walkers would win by that time, but at the very least I should besiege all of the cities and try to keep the siege up. So, I need to focus on them. Other mages I don't have to worry about though, because even if they do decide to attack me, I mean look at that. They do not have a superior army to mine, which does mean that they are very pathetic, and I'm pretty sure I can make army faster than they can. So that's another problem. Of course, the other guys, yeah, they have very powerful armies, that's to be expected, but since I am allied, quote-unquote, with the Draken, when we together fight the Necrophages, we should be good, especially since scores are about to come. As soon as I have my first one, I'm planning to attack. That's basically the gist of it. Alrighty then. I'm not gonna do anything with the other mages, like I said. I won't do anything with the spine that is immediately going to actually kill the population in my city, which I'm really annoyed about, because I'm ally. Killing population in my city is, you know, it's extraordinarily painful. But such is the way of things, I suppose. Now, as for this city, this will be the first city I'll try to take over. And what, when it comes to the angle I want to attack this city from, uh, looking at how the terrain is set up, it will be quite beneficial to attack from uh, the west, because that would give me a little bit of high ground advantage. This would limit the enemy's movement abilities from the south as well, so it would be a bit more of a choke point scenario, probably giving me a bit of the edge, because my units should do relatively well in choke point scenarios, because I do have ranged units, the enemy does not. So attacking from the west seems like the best bet in my in this case, so that's why those two armies are going to stay right here. Now, I do have to admit, it is very difficult to see if I can maybe wipe out the other managers and call it a day, and then use their cities to, bo to buff my uh, power when it comes to fighting the Necrophages, however, I don't think I have the time for that, purely because of how far ahead the Necrophages are when it comes to their uh, technology. Plus, stopping them before they do deal too much damage to the Draken might be beneficial. I do want them to weaken the Draken, maybe even take over this capital, but I think they're probably gonna do that regardless, even if I attack them right now. So, I'll just wait for a few more turns, get my army ready, and then I'll do uh, what I can to actually finish them off. So there is that. Let me drink a bit of water. Hmm. That's strange. The spy did not actually kill... Oh, no, never mind. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. There we go. Like I said. Ooh, can I predict the future? Uh, apparently I can, because I just realized. Because I knew that this spy is gonna kill my people. So yeah. Uh, this time I didn't even find out that it was the Adam Major's hero, though. Which is smiling amazing. And also... I know why I didn't find out. There's something I did differently than to last time. I didn't activate my boosters, which is what I did last time, which is mildly annoying that I didn't do it this time. And oh no, there's also Empire Plant. I don't think it's... <coughs> That's a big problem, because I was supposed to get extra attack. But at the same time, my mind not end up attacking the enemy during the next 10 turns. I mean, I, I probably will, actually. But I might not need the attack just yet. So I'll save some influence for the next time. Let's pretend it was all planned ahead. And not actually a mistake and forgetfulness on my part. The other thing is, before the crash happened, I did activate those boosters before recording. They were on. And now I had to reset the game because, like I said, it crashed. And uh, I forgot to activate them. So that's the most annoying thing of all. So, yeah, I'm not too keen on that. Also, research, I did not skew it up. Uh, but that's fine, I know I want to go for Dust Refiner first to help with my dust problems. I don't really have problems per se, but being able to buy out some extra heroes would be very nice indeed. So there's that. Scorus is ready, but I don't quite have... Actually, no, I do have enough Titanium for a vanilla Scorus, but I do want to retrofit him slightly so that he's a little bit better. Right now he's pretty good, but I could make him just so much better if you can see. As you can see, because I can give him the ability to heal, which would be rather amazing. Now, it does cost a little bit of Titanium, but I'm getting Titanium. I'm also getting the Mantium, so I can easily go for that. And plus, it does boost it, it does boost his stats considerably and make him actually useful against the Necrophages, 
which is very important. Now, I would love to also give him things like Shed Wisdom, Intimidation Aura, and or Glory of Death. Glory of Death probably the least important, but these two would be amazing, but I don't really have the resources to do that, so for the time being, I'll apply those changes and keep him in here as he is. Let's move over all of my armies. You close the borders, you killed my pop, I'm marginally angry about it, but such is the way of things, I suppose. Let us now proceed with the roundup in this city. It's not ideal, of course, but maybe there is the spy stint there. It's actually a very highly possible, fairly high possibility, because I don't think the other majors who just discovered me, mind you, have explored any of my other cities just yet. So it's possible that they either have the spy still in my city, or, alternatively, this is a good quest for me right now. Or, alternatively, uh, what did I say? I forgot. Doesn't matter. Anyway, you might be wondering also, why am I not making the national arena in the end of my cities? If I were to make it, I would probably make it in the Uskiv. Ah, I didn't rename Uskiv. I will rename it later, if I remember. <clears throat> Sorry. So, the reason why I'm not making national arena just yet, even though I'll plan to make it, is because wait, because ten thirteen, as you can see, and I really need to have my scorers up and running as quickly as possible. So yeah, I need to save up on titanium. However, this pair up with this quest, which I didn't get last time, is going to be very nice because I mean it's gonna give me 30 die out of nowhere. So yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that. In fact, I'm so happy I'm not gonna switch my skyphon skyphon whatever out of titanium mining. And I'll just keep it in there. Alright then. Now, if you might be also wondering why am I moving this Skyphon over here? It's because last time, I mean last time, when I wasn't able to actually record, I did move him in here. Because I wanted to scout out the enemy capital as quickly as the war started. So just to make it fair, I wanted to, again, do what I did when I first tried to record this video. But now I'm actually gonna move him away. Which is a bit of abusing the, my knowledge, I am aware, but... Uh, I d really don't want to waste him now. I mean, it's really, really difficult to actually resist the temptation to change and modify your strategy ever so slightly, now that I actually know what is going to happen. I hope you can forgive me for that. Anyway, my capital, it has all the orcs ready, and let's have them keep, keep them coming at the front line. I'll need a lot of those guys. I'll need a lot of champ blockers, not really champ blockers, but very basic damage dealing units in order to have any chance against fighting the Neko Fighters. Neko Fighters are bound to have um, units that are more powerful than mine. Now, the good news is they're not much more powerful than mine, if my memory serves. They are more powerful, yes, but it's like... Let, let me drink. The units are 1.5 times more powerful than mine on the average. At least the ones that I called last time, which is... A surprisingly small difference compared to what I expected them to be. I expected them to be like devastating, but the reason why they are so quote unquote weak is because they're not using naked drones, which is, I mean, that's just silly. Okay, I could make a gap of the Auriga in here, which would actually level up my industrial megapole. And last time, what I did instead is actually make myself a Skiffin or Skyfin in one of those cities in order to actually be able to mine more stuff. Which would be pretty great, I have to admit, but I really want to buff the industrial megapole so I can make things faster in my capital, so I'm gonna do it. Changing my plans ever so slightly, I suppose it's not the worst thing ever. And then let's proceed with... Man, I really want to earth for the monks, so I can actually make them properly. But, again, I'll keep, keep it as it is for the time being. You know what I can do? To pretend like I'm actually not cheating, I'll move some of my armies closer to the front lines and maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to spy spot enemy units and then I'll figure out what they are using. I mean, I already have it figured out, like I said, but, you know, to pretend like I'm actually discovering those things for the first time. Also, did I forget about buying a hero now? I think I just got 700, so I can buy a hero now. Please, let this guy that I bought last time still be here because he'll sell so good. At most this year... Hold on, somebody's pillaging something. That didn't happen last time. But yes, he's still there. Alright, that's good. I... These heroes looks like they're all the same, so I know this guy is the best because he's got influence boost too, and he should have no abilities in him put into him just yet. And uh, so yeah, he doesn't, so that's good. I can now modify him uh, to my to my desires. I mean, shape him to my desires. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I it's been just too long since I recorded video last time, and again, it's not my out of my own free will. It's just because I wasn't able to. And I'm so excited I'm actually able to do it today that I'm kind of fumbling over my own words, unfortunately. So, 
guy, this guy is the center of my city, he should boost my city's production quite considerably, and he will allow me to actually fulfill my faction quest as well, with relative ease as soon as the roundup is complete, unfortunately it's not just yet, but next turn he will let me do something of the sort. Now, I actually dismissed the pillaging thing, notification, but there I go, there are the ramblers that are evil. Huh, strange that they are doing this now and didn't do so before. Anyway, I should be able to kill them relatively quickly before they do any actual damage. So let's do that. Let's make sure that my army is as big as it can be. Because why not? Let's move my other armies close to, closer to the front line. Again, because why not? So that they are ready to attack. Now, I c once I have enough money, I will buy myself a spy. Because I will need a spy that has a decent enough levels to actually allow me to bring it out the enemy capital. Because this is bound to have a lot of fortification. Mind you, all this is also... The same rule applies to all the other cities that uh, Necrophidus have, but the other cities I don't really want to take, instead I'd rather just have them besieged. And in order to besiege them, I'm not sure if I showed you yet or not, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just spamming Seekers, and I'll say the one Seeker to each of the enemy cities. Now, this tactic has been nerfed because it was too abusable in the past. You can no longer retreat, as I'm sure you're aware, with an army that is uh, trying to besiege an enemy city, which is good, but you can still try to do a similar tactic to what you used to do. By which I mean you can just have those units sacrifice themselves for one turn worth of seed, which is still very considerably painful for the enemy, especially AI that because it doesn't really know how to react to that, and it usually takes at least one turn for them to respond. Also, it will allow me to scout out where the enemy armies are at, and it will use up the enemy's army's action points, thus allowing me to attack the enemy with my main army without the fear of just a massive army uniting to defend against my incoming scourges. So there's that. Also, I have no idea what word I just used. I literally do not. It was probably possibly me trying to be fancy, but I have no idea. I'm doing my best, right? I'm trying to remember how you do this whole commanding thing, because it's just been so very long. Alright, I will continue mining adamantium, because I do want to have some adamantium weaponry as soon as possible. You continue mining uh, titanium. Hold on a second. Should I have, shouldn't I have more titanium by now? I don't remember. Also, I do remember that there is this Wings of Ruin quest, which does mean that it will be considerably harder to actually equip my units with adamantium. But I would rather still keep the Wings of Ruin in there, because I can have a few elite units instead of the enemy having a ton of elite units that as powerful as my elite units will get. I think this still hits the enemies harder than me, because AI is usually bent over on trying to make all of their units equipped with the same kind of surgic resource, whereas I will use a mix of surgic resource units as well as units that don't use any strategic resources whatsoever. Alright, are you purchasable? No, I need one more turn. Alright, that's good. So next turn I'll change things in my capital so that I can actually, you know, have the scars in there, which is going to be rather nice if you don't mind me saying so. Let us end the turn and see if I were able to catch the enemy spy in my city. Now, keep in mind things are already starting to diversify quite a bit from what I did in my previous attempts at recording. I already, like I said, I saw some differences, so we'll see how it goes. Did I capture him? Last time I didn't, so will, was I... No, okay. I wasn't able to do it this time either. So, okay, that's a shame. He's probably still in there, still trying to be an annoying bastard, but I don't have the technology to actually wipe him out. Flush him out, rather. I can get unexpected allies, and... Based on the fact that right now I'm trying to spawn my units, I might go for this thing first. Because I do need to protect my city quite badly. So I'm gonna go for unexpected allies first, protect my cities against enemy spies. Alternatively, I could try to maybe actually go for a different deck. Go for uh, Diplomat's Mans and sign a peace treaty with those guys. Problem is, I'm not sure how willing they would be to do such a thing. I really have no idea. Uh, getting an entire attack just for that, on the basis that they might not spy on me anymore, I don't think it's worth it. I think instead I'm just gonna get the Inquisition instead, because who knows, maybe somebody else will try to use it against me in the future. So, you know, it's it's a bad idea to just get it. Okay, are there any anomalies around the city in the immediate, immediate vicinity? Doesn't look like there are. That's a shame. I would love to place down an abbey of anomalies, anomalies but if I cannot do so... Then I suppose I'll just spam some monks. Now, please, tell me that I have discarded some of the enemy armies. Please, you move back over there. See if you can see any enemy armies. That would be absolutely amazing. Why are you... Strange, for a second, show like they're going to move to a different town. What is... Uh, 
Huh, strange. I don't know what's happening, really. Okay, I still don't see enemy armies. Come on. I'll really love to. But I suppose it will be some of the more army composition for the time being. I really don't wanna cheat. And it will really feel like cheating if I had to swap my army's composition, so I'm not gonna do it. As tempting as it is, I'm not gonna do it. Who knows? Maybe I'll have use out of. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, stop. Let's think logically. Why would I need to have cavalry slay in this scenario? These guys aren't using cavalry. These guys are using cavalry. These guys aren't using cavalry. Yeah, there's no logical sense in me having cavalry slayer at this point in time anyway. So yeah, even if I didn't know that the enemy is using... Uh, what you might call him? Demons and the foragers, I would probably still switch the weapon, right? Because I would figure out that the enemy, I mean, cannot use any cavalry and they might use infantry. So yeah, there's a logical reason why I would switch, so I'm gonna switch. Good, alright, I figured myself out. I'm happy about that, good. Okay, now, in my capital, I'll finish off this arc, I suppose, and then I'll make a score as ASAP. As soon as he's ready and actually, hold on a second, and get to the front line, I'm gonna declare the war, declare war on the enemy. I mean, without this guy, I'll be somewhat afraid to do so because, I mean, those guys are kind of scary. But with the scars and the front lines, the enemy will have very big pro difficulties actually doing anything useful whatsoever. So yeah, I'm gonna just have that happen. And don't tell me it's backed out. No, it isn't. Good. All right. So the enemy is killed. That's very nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and murder some villagers over here with this army while I'm at it because why not? Might as well murder some innocents. They're not very innocent anyway, aren't they? They're just trying to kill my innocent, so I suppose that makes them no longer innocent. So there's that. <coughs> Sorry about that cough. Alrighty then. Dear armies, you please be ready. I suppose I'll just... These are ranged armies, so let's... You are less ranged than the other armies, so let's have you over there. Now the AI is not dumb. They will realize that I have armies along their border and they will call me out on that, most likely. But I don't really care. They can call me out as many times they want and using whatever names they want. I won't respond to that. Okay, four, five, six, that's the maximum of monks. Work well, my young father ones. Uh, I will keep on that production, just because I want to have some more heroes. I will need them, I will need a spy, I'll probably... I could use another governor as well, so I'll keep at uh, this. Also, 39 influence, I'm so close and yet so far away. What if I move you slightly? 33? What if I move you as well? 38? Okay, I'll also move you. 39, 42, alright. This is for the good of the bounty of Riga. Now, by this point, me getting this quest, it's not really a big deal, I'll be honest. It's uh, I'm not going to be able to get the quest victory, I don't think, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not going to move forward because it's, it is isn't a very big slowdown in my unit, army production because of me moving my population around a little ever so slightly. I think it's going to be fine. And also, actually, I'm still getting a ton of dust, so I might even move you ever so slightly. Or even all of you, because I'm still getting over 300 dust per 10, and I can make those monks a little bit faster. So yeah, let's just get, finish my faction quest and end my 10. And I know it's not very long, but what I really want to do is actually make sure that I have, at the very least, two Alice Legend videos recorded. And so far, I'm still doing fairly okay when it comes to allergies. I'm still fine. So... I'll end this video right here. I know it's extremely short, alright? I know it, I know it, but I'm so desperate to having more than one video output this week. So, I mean, produced, I published this week. Because last week, I you just saw this one stellar video, right? Because after recording that, I was no longer able to record. I really wanna abuse the fact that I'm feeling alright right now. So please, forgive me for posting such a short video. I know not much happened either. I tried to explain some things, but that's gonna be it for now. I'll go ahead and record my second video right now, so don't be afraid, there will be a second video coming unless I suddenly die during the recording of that video, but I doubt it. If it does happen, I'll modify you in the description. But anyway, it was Panchasu, also known as the Mighty Mix Palmer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you online.